All right. Uh, so I guess for those of you who uh, pay attention, uh, the few of you who uh, are subscribed to me, um, uh, I didn't upload for a while, um, like the past few days. Uh, I left the guild I was in, decided to join uh, these guys. Um, I hear they tell me they're top 50 guild, so for one, I mean, that might that'll be pretty good because we'll you know get to see you know better uh, better fights uh, in general uh, going forward and uh, for two I mean you know helps uh, it'll help me get more uh, motivated considering like the last guild we we kind of were top 100 I think for the most part we were top 100 material but uh, you know we kind of meandered around the two to two two to two to 100 range um, but uh, I don't know these guys too well um, I joined. They tell me they, they hang around the top 50 a lot, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, I can uh, uh, do them some good. You know, hopefully, I can um, yeah, you know, help the guild be strong. Um, what else? So yeah, that that's basically it. Uh, there wasn't any videos for three days because I just decided to take a break for a little bit. Um, not like the Fire Emblem stuff. I mean, it's not an excuse why I didn't make Fire Emblem stuff. I, ha I have a lot of ideas, and, and probably over the weekend I'm going to put up a few of them. But uh, I just kind of wanted to chill for a little bit now that uh, um, I left that that previous guild. Um, but yeah, so you know, here we are. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, it'll be really funny uh, if we ever get to fight against uh, our old, my old guild again. Uh, we'll see how how we do there. Uh, where was my defense? Where am I? I am right here. Okay, so so far I have one draw and one loss, which is kind of interesting that I lost this first one, even though I consider this one to be a little bit stronger of a team. Uh, and I and I won the second one, which usually this second one is the one that get far that gets farmed, right? Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, it, uh, the other thing, I guess it's like uh, I'm, I guess it's all right considering I guess I'm being avoided more than uh, being attacked. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Let's see if uh, let's see if we can do some damage. So these two towers have been taken down. The only thing left is this one. So we're gonna hit the main fort, uh, the mid tower, and then just something else, I guess. So we'll see what we can do here. Uh, so it looks like they're having mildly hard time about it. Um, only one person on our team. That's actually pretty interesting. So this guy, I've seen some of this guy's builds and stuff already. He he seems pretty good. So the fact that he lost to this first one is not necessarily. It, it it's more it's more worrying, and especially the fact that these other people have also lost. I don't know about these these top these these later two, but these first two, like him, it's not surprising that he you know he just cracked it pretty easily. Um, but it, it it's disconcerting to me that this top team did cause this guy so much trouble. Um. Let's see. Well, I think what I'm thinking is maybe that. Uh, hmm. Doesn't seem like the best idea, but let's let's see what I can do here. I don't really think this is a good idea. I think what would probably be better now. Where's uh, where's uh, what's his name? Uh, Oxlots. He's like down here somewhere in the level four, in the five stars. There he is. Um, what might be better here would be to. Um. Yeah, what might be better here would be to just like go straight tank, like bring Crow. Maybe like Alencia and then, you know, like a healer or just try to tank it out uh, because, again, you know, Arbiter is always going to be squishy and Violet, uh, ro um, yeah, ML Violet's always like, it's just a matter of time. You just kind of have to like tank it out until, you know, at least one of your hits gets through because as soon as you hit him like the first time, he's just going to fall over. Uh, this bottom team here does not look too bad. Um... Let's bring you, keeping you up there, and I need a, another damage dealer. Uh, what? I, I mean, no, I don't really want to do that. 
let's bring a water damage dealer. Well, wow, that's kind of interesting. I don't really have that many waters ready. We have a decent amount of waters, but they're not like the only one is SSB. She's just so oppressively good that you can just kind of use her anywhere. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, huh? Yeah, what to do there? Could just bring Charles, I guess. Probably bring someone tanky though again. Somebody water based. Should I really just bring? Or should I just do this? I guess. I think problematically, uh, the fact that I made Chloe's here is gonna is gonna be really, really, really bad, really bad because maybe something like this. Which Charles? Where are not Charles? You. Okay, maybe something like this. Um, problem being, I only have one uh, one cleanse, so hopefully uh, I just need to make sure I time it right. Uh, hopefully SSB doesn't get too many. Um, if you hear a really loud fan in the background, it's my PS4. It's going crazy. I'm just in the lobby too. I'm not doing anything. That's weird. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I'll have one cleanse, so hopefully SSB doesn't get get off too many defense breaks, but uh, it's iffy regardless. Um, yeah, this this bottom team is really sketchy. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I guess I don't know. It's kind of worrisome. Uh, this this top team I'm more concerned about, but I actually I just want to try this out. Um, I mean, well, actually, I, the the main thing I want is to see if, how Lilibet does against the Arbiter. Like, can I just one-shot the Arbiter uh, with the Libet? If if so, it, it's not, like, easy from then on, but, like, it doesn't look like it'd be too bad. So let's kind of see what's going on here, what we can do. The biggest problem I'm going to have is uh, that, like, Riolu doing way too much damage. Okay, so that's, that's kind of interesting. They're all pretty fast. Um... They're about as fast. I mean, my, my Oxlots is like 240 speed. They're not that fast, but uh, it's certainly um, notable. Okay, so let's let's see what kind of damage I'm doing against, like, you know, real Arbiters and not just, like, uh, you know, bottom one 200 teams. Okay, so Arbiter's gone. So let's see what, what, what we can do against the rest of this comp here. Uh, my Oxlots being, like... As untanky as humanly possible, it's bad. And uh, this is what I was worried about. Uh, this Rio loot's doing massive damage. Oof! Like that's a lot. Um, fortunately, I can't S three her because then uh, he's gonna be he's gonna start going after other people. Okay. Yeah, this guy's doing insane damage. Um, okay. Let's see what this can do for me. Uh, well, I got the silence, though. It's not totally useful on her. Um, I'm just gonna save the S3 for Riolu. Um, come on, please survive this. Okay. Uh, let's just hit you. Okay, so this is what. Oh yeah, no. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I didn't want to use the S two earlier because it's like you know I wanted to get something better, but uh, it's it's not working out very well. She might die here, which is kind of disconcerting. Oh, don't die, please. Okay. Okay, how, how's, how's he looking? He's at uh, two turns left. Let's do this. Um, let's do this for some turn cycle. Okay, so she went. Okay, so we're doing decent damage against this. Uh, um.
Okay, this is a... I'm just gonna have to burn it. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Uh, let's boost you up forward. Um. Okay, this is a this is an interesting moment because, yeah, I'll just you know I'm just gonna do this. Let's get some stacks on on a little bit and then hit him with the uh, soul burn. Um. Okay, that's that's a problem uh, because we're probably gonna die. Something's gonna die. If it's Oxlots, it's not so bad because Lilibet's turn is next. But it really, I really don't want it to be Lilibet. Okay, so it's Oxlots is fine. Um, I can bring him back. Okay. Uh, and I don't have the Soul Burn, so that kind of sucks. Let's see if we can get him with this. Oh, I got him. Nice. There you go. So this was, this was a lot closer than it really should have been. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like. I got lucky. He only has. I don't think he had the. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention to what um, artifact he had. But the bottom line was, uh, I got lucky that that attack hit because I'm not sure if I would have killed her otherwise. Or I'm not sure that she would have killed him otherwise. Is is the point I want to make there? Um, yeah, it went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to personally. Um, some some changes probably or some things to, to keep in mind I guess going forward is uh, ox slots probably needs to be level sixty uh, just maxed um, you know just basically for the HP is is the bottom line there um, okay of course he crits on water uh, let's just hit him with this crits on water through crit debuff I want to point out um, just for anybody keeping track at home. Wow, that is. These are the squishiest people I've ever seen in my life. Um, my SSB might die though. Still, okay, never mind. Okay, SSB is probably gonna die here, which is good because now she can't. Uh... Um, I'm just activating this to, to clear one of them. Yeah. Okay, so for some reason they're all on. Uh... They're all on SSB. This is kind of why you really want a um, come on, please miss for once in your life. That's amazing. Um, and I guess that's sort of the power of uh, Kron. Um, but anyway, I mean, I, I think I still have this. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, Kron can't kill these people. The, the, the two left. I just need to like the the only problem I have is uh, I really do need to kill this maid Chloe before uh, anything sketch happens. Um, but what was I going on about? Let's see if I can hit you with this. Yeah, killing her is gonna be a huge pain actually. Okay, so hopefully my Crow, I can get my. She, I think her S3 is already up again. Yep, it is. Uh, and my Crow's S3 is not up yet, so that's kind of annoying. Um, let's get this up. I think she's the. I think she's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, so she has the most damage taken there. We have to really kill uh, Kron because she's gonna bring everybody back. Oh, uh, this is bad. Um, so there you go. You win some, you lose some. Uh, I got lucky with the top team. Um, I got kind of screwed over uh, by RNG on the second team, so that kind of sucks. But it is what it is, you know. It is the uh, games we decide to play. Okay, so she's not dead, of course, because why would she be? And Crow uh, just melted him because he has a defense break. Um. So it's fine. Uh, you know, it is like I said. It is what it is. You you lose some, you win some. Um, there's not much I could have done there. Um, I, I like literally did everything I could have, right? And that's that's really all you can ask for. Um, so you know, nine times out of ten, it's one of those where it's like nine times out of ten that'll work. That was the that was the uh, the one out of ten that it didn't. So let's come over here. Let's hit these people. Pretty interesting, like.
Kron never seems to be able to like miss a crit to save his life. Um, let's go super tanky on this bottom team. And I need a healer. Let's go with a high resistance healer. Um, that looks decent. Uh, top team looks like uh, it's going to be a huge pain. Let's go with you. Where's Ruel? Ru uh, I just took her off. Uh, Ruel, I'm going to keep up there. If I can find her, there she is. Uh, and we need a damage dealer to go along with that. Um, let's just do this. Uh, this isn't a very good idea uh, because AOE and AOE. Now he S ones after the first AOE, which is fine. Uh, but Kron also AOEs uh, after his S three. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes. This bottom team, I don't have high hopes for it, but I just want to, I just want to hit this Broman and see what's up with him. Uh, I think, uh, I guess this Broman maybe just like a tanky, um, what's his name? I mean, you probably just have to deal with him the same way you deal with, uh, what's it, what's his name? Basar, really. Uh, overall, uh, he is a little more interesting than Basar because for for one, he doesn't hit into weakness. Like weakness doesn't affect him. Um, and for two. Uh, Basar makes it so you can't buff, with, you know, obviously, but th the thing is, um, he silences you. So at least when, with the can't buff, you can, like, bring a Lilius in and then cleanse it. And, of course, Charles, uh, basically is about to one-shot my, um, is about to one-shot her. That's fine. Uh, so I guess the other thing I need to worry about now is, uh, figuring out what to do about my Ruel. Uh, obviously, whatever her tank currently, her tankiness right now is not cutting it. Um, and she's dead, I think. Yeah. So that's pretty irritating, as always. Uh, of course, Charles counters, because why wouldn't he? And he misses twice. That's good. Thank you. I am thankful for that, at least. At the very least. Problem being, I think Aaron can probably just, like, kill, um, her. Um, fortunately, Aaron is gonna get healed by this, which is good, because, uh... uh he's just gonna get one-shot anyway. Or not, not, not one-shot, but, like, he, he's the one that takes the most damage, so the, the heal on him is the most useless. Um... Well, there's no real point in taunting anybody other than like for the shield, because everybody's just gonna S1 anyway. Uh, he missed, thank you. And you got the S2, and he didn't miss this time, uh, which is annoying as hell. Um, let's do this. Uh, 18. And she's gonna die. Yep, and now um, is my... There you go. Uh, I think she still dies. Yeah, I think she's dead. So I lost her for any third uh, third match, which is fine. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, they usually have enough effectiveness to uh, to do what they what they come in to do. Like my Montmorency has like 150 effectiveness, but. Yeah, they usually that's that's what you gotta worry about. It's like you don't you, you'll never have enough because Broman Broman and uh, what's his name? You can just sit there and stack uh, effectiveness. It's not that hard. Um, we need you to come hit this guy. Nope. Okay. Let's hit you. This guy is tanky and he takes everything. Oh man, I can't believe I got the, uh, I got that, cr not only that crit, but that, uh, through, through blind. Like, I actually just hit through blind. 
Um, let's get you. This guy's gonna die right now, so I'm just gonna like. Okay, so he's hitting the water one, and mana burst didn't activate. Very interesting. Uh, and then let's do this. So there you go. Uh, you can basically just out tank a team like this. It's not that big a deal. It's just that hopefully you have like the the proper whatever you need. Um, who would be pretty good here? Maybe Angelic Montmorency would be decent. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's see. Let's get you healed up. They're not did I say Angelic Montmorency? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, that's not what I meant. I meant uh, Sinful Angelica. It might be kind of interesting here just to keep the Arbiter from reviving, but as you can see, like, if you just tank him well enough, like, he, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so this person, I think half of this was uh, has to do with um, gear, basically, um, and and just kind of like general AI stuff. Like their team, the team he set up, or he or she, whoever that you know, whatever that was, uh, the, the team this person set up went about as well as you could have wanted it to. Right? It's like this is exactly what you want. This this thing happening. Uh, let us do, uh, but the thing is, what they wanted to happen wasn't very useful, is what ultimately ended up, uh, costing there. Uh, I still, I lost, what's her name, right? So she's, she's not here, definitely. Yeah, she's not. Okay. Um, let's bring Arbiter up here. And we'll bring you up here, maybe? And we'll bring, where's Charles? We'll bring Charles up here. He gets a slow. Uh, he gets a slow and a stun, but there's nothing. Like if I get stunned, there's nothing I can do about it. And you know, yeah, basically that's the the thinking there. Like if I get stunned, I can't do anything about it. If I get slowed, it's all right because he can counter. Uh, hopefully she doesn't get slowed because you know the, the barriers and such. Uh, but like if he gets slowed and ends up dying, I mean I just get to like hit them hard anyway, so that's fine. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do up there. Personally, just kind of like over it at this point now. Let's put you here. Let's just this. At this point, I've already sort of uh, shot myself in the foot uh, after some, after a few things. So why don't we just take a, a, a team like this into this first one and see what we do, um, just for the hell of it, right? Uh, or the second one. So this first one is is like a little better, but the second one, uh, I don't have a whole lot left to go at them with. So I think I'm just going to try uh, her, him into her cleanse, into her uh, S3, and see if I can get any sleeps, and yeah, basically see what we can do from there. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot more I can do at this point. Lost too many units. I could just like, uh, I could just do the same thing with this bottom team as like the Arbiter one, but I, I really do need damage to get through the, the Cecilia. Um, so that's kind of what's up with that. <sighs> yeah, I think I think this should be fine. Let's just see what happens. Um, yeah, my my dizzy also needs to be rebuilt uh, considerably because um, she's not she's just not what she should be. Okay, so counter three thousand. Um, he has that, so let's just hit him with this. Yeah, like, I really need to just get her better gears, what the bottom line is. That's fine. I think he has like an 85% chance, so let's kind of see what uh, what's going on here. Okay, so that's fine. I forgot that I had immunity on, on uh, him, so he was going to be fine regardless. Okay. Uh, Charles is stunned. So that's fine. Uh, she's gonna heal herself, I think. Um, what's his name over here? 
Tywin is basically going to be uh, bullying um, Vildred the whole time, the whole time, which is fine. Oh no, okay, no, yeah, she's going after her. So that's pretty cool. That means that I can just. So basically, it's kind of over, right? Like, at this point, really. Um, so basically, it just means that Vildred can free fire from the back line here without too much of a. Oh, come on. Uh, of course. Ugh. Well, good thing is Tywin's about to die. Not not like right now, it's just that like in general, you know what I mean? Like, he's on the verge. Uh, if I can, anyway. Uh, so Tywin's dead. She already burned her S3 heal. Uh, she's gonna hit uh, this girl here, or what's his name? Acid's gonna hit my FCC. Uh, that's fine. That's fine too. Uh, let's get rid of you because you're getting on my nerves. And now again, like, I can free fire with Vildred from the back line. Um, and the counter. Okay, so this went pretty well. A lot of RNG kind of just went in my favor in this case. Um, but yeah, for those of you, like, Ambitious Tywin becomes infinitely more useful in Guild War as well. Um, I mean, he's like, I mean, for one, he's an RTA monster. Um, I, it's like the one... When he came out, I didn't foresee him being as strong as he is now. Well, I realized I don't have any healing. This is bad. Um, yeah, this is kind of irritating, especially because Tywin's back now. Uh, but yeah, like I didn't foresee him being that strong, but he did look pretty interesting. And and you know, you can even like it's hard to even say for anybody. He's like, oh, I knew he was going to be good since then because he didn't have the buffs he has now. But just the way he was designed with the, uh, let's see, well, I'm going to save, nah, I'll just burn it. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, like, he didn't have the stun there, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that like, oh, I thought he was going to be as strong as he is now, but just off the, the S2 is a pretty good, um, like, cleansing ability. You can run him on your team with, like, a Ruel, uh, and Ruel's biggest problem, right, is that she doesn't have any cleanse. She can cleanse one person, like, one time. Uh, or like two people twice, but then you burn your, your healing for that, right? But with Tywin, he adds that extra layer of like cleansing on top of everything else. Um, so yeah, like, he's just a, he's just a very good um, unit, I think. Um, I didn't pull for him at the time because I didn't have any enough to go to pity anyway, so. Well, that's not, that's not that big a deal. Um, he might come, he'll come back or, you know, hopefully I get him at some point. Um, so let's just S1, I guess. Charles is gonna counter, and I hit him with the thing. Um, okay. This is bad because he. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. I was gonna lose anyway, yeah, because he was gonna hit her uh, regardless. Um, I should have, like. Oh, and she's gonna die? Yeah, she died. Um,. Yeah, uh, I, you know, like I said, we, I just kind of like gave up here at the end of this one. Uh, let's do, let's just hit this. There's really not much I can do. I mean, I'm probably just gonna scoop it up right here. Uh, for those of you who do play Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, Dizzy doesn't counter to save her life. It's always interesting looking at these like really squishy Charles because, like, I mean, theoretically he's squishy. He's at 1,200 uh, HP, but you can never seem to kill them. It's really weird. I guess it's like the 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 thing is right. This is like 90% uh, on me, more than anything, because this is something that you'd want to bring like your cleave into. The problem is I don't really have a cleave to bring into something like this. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what's up with that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's actually going very interestingly. A lot more interesting now. What's going on here? Let's see if I can win this. I, I really doubt I can, but <laughs> now I'm curious. Okay. Of course. And he crit through the, uh... Let's get... Let's push everybody forward. Uh, okay. Okay. 
This Charles doesn't seem to be countering very much for some reason. It's actually kind of starting to bother me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, like... You know, you take your your damage dealers into into Charles, and he like never seems to die, even though he's like really squishy at like twelve hundred HP. But like my Charles is like, you know, uh, I think I can do this. My Charles is like fifteen with like twelve twelve K defense, twelve hundred defense, and he just dies to everything. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, so let's there you go. Finally, a miss and a hit, but I do have attack deep debuff, so that's fine. Uh, let's do this again. And he counters again. Okay. And he hits twice. And he missed both times. Very good. I'm actually, yeah, like I said, <laughs> now I'm like invested in this. <laughs> I can't, like, if I win this, I'm going to be very surprised. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm getting so many misses thanks to that. Uh, they couldn't last forever, though, right? Um, oh, and I got this. Very good. So, he's, so he missed his, uh, his Im immortality turn, which is good. And I got the stun again. So this is just so I won this off RNG. I guess uh, it's I guess it's like repayment for the nonsense I suffered earlier. But that's all right. So it's looking like we're about to win this. Honestly, let's see. Let's see what happens. Not let's not count our chickens before they hatch, as they say. Okay. Let's uh, let's cleanse that. She doesn't really need that much healing yet. Uh, I can't believe I won this off of a two on three. Uh, I think what might have made this a little easier would have been if I had like uh, what's her name, if uh, if Valencia was here instead of the uh, the S ten A, which I did have. Uh, and this actually might have gotten not only that, but this might actually gotten a lot smoother and a lot faster. Um, if I had the uh, Alencia over there, or well, if I hadn't messed up with the S ten A like an idiot, where I clicked on the. Uh, the guy down here, because I might have been able to sleep Charles and then turn cycle with the S10E, um, and then you know, gotten something a lot more interesting going on. Uh, but this is kind of like one of the. This is one of those things that you want to. I, I kind of I tend to forget a lot of times. Sometimes like, yeah, I mean I tend to forget a lot of times. A lot of times, what's the counter to a team that can't heal? Just, just bring your own healer. Just tank it out and bring your own healer. That that ends up being a lot of times um, the counter. It, it's kind of funny in a lot of cases, but yeah, that's that's one of those things where it's like, it's not gonna be always the, the it's not always gonna be the answer, mind you. Um, don't don't like, oh, I'm gonna bring a healer into any, anything that doesn't have a healer, and I'm you know it's a good game. Uh, of course, everything has like you know, it just depends. But uh, sometimes, yeah, like I said, like this one, we won this only because of the healing, um, because they couldn't do enough damage, and we just uh, out sustained them. And then the third the third person over there. Um, would have been doing something uh, more interesting. Uh, like I said, if it was Alencia, it'd be a lot better or something like that. Or I mean, it could have even just been my um, my FCC. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, all in all, we did pretty decent. I mean, it's not like we didn't do very well, uh, as good as I wanted to. But for the fact that we're I'm in a top 50 guild, I don't I'm not too disappointed with my performance. Um, this what you see here would have gotten a lot better if you know like the RNG hadn't screwed me over and I forgot which one it was already. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Uh, hopefully, this was a lot more interesting. Um, hopefully, uh, going forward, uh, they're pleased with my performance during this guild war. Cause again, this is the first guild war. They're they're kind of like I'm under the lens, under the scope here to to for scrutiny to see what you know how I how well I do. Uh, so hopefully I can stick around with these guys. Hopefully I didn't do too bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, so you know, good luck out there to those of you who are uh, doing your guild wars. And that's it for today. Today's Friday. Uh, this video will come out today. Over the weekend, I have a I have a lot of videos I want to do. Um, of course, I mean I think we all have videos we want to do. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Look, if for any of you looking for a Fire Emblem stuff, I'll probably do that. And uh, in a follow-up to the Fire Emblem stuff in terms of, uh, well, I'll probably talk about that on Saturday. Um, but yeah, so that's, if any of you, uh, if there's any crossover between the people who watch these videos, um, that's what's coming this weekend, hopefully. Um, want to have, want to do some build discussions and uh, just, you know, talking about general stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, don't think we did too bad for this guild. We're ranked uh, 52 here. Um, yep, so that's, that's that, I guess.